go, here we go. Let's see. Hello and welcome to our 100th episode. Woo! 100 episodes since March 17th of Recipe of the Day. And we have a studio audience here uh, today. Hold on, let me get my sound turned down here. And we are going to make a special Christmas item today that you can make ahead of time for your Christmas morning. And of course, we have a cocktail to kick off our celebration. Um, so we are going to be making today these Christmas coffee cakes that my son and I made with our friend Lisa Fletcher. Uh, she had us to her house many years ago, and this is a tradition that their family has of making these Christmas coffee cakes. So Rex was asking me the other day about the time we went to make the coffee cakes. And so I asked Lisa if we could make her family recipe on the show, and she said yes. So here we are. I have a special sous chef helping me today. My special guest is my one and only darling child, Rex. <laughs> and we are going to be making these Christmas coffee cakes. So I didn't think you wanted to wait for the dough to rise and um, uh, mix all this dough together. So we did that ahead of time. Oops, sorry, Shay. Stepping on your foot, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so here is our dough. And I should probably put some flour down here before I dump it out. This recipe, each one makes three uh, trees. So we are gonna, um, I'll break this up, let's see. Get this, are your hands clean, Shu? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> clean enough, I guess, right? Okay, so here's our dough. And we're gonna make this into three piles. And then, um, hey Barb, how are you? So let's see. <laughs> Get a ball there. There's one. We'll break this in two. So there's our three trees. So these freeze great because that's what we've done in the past. So Rex is going to start to form this into a Christmas tree shape. And then you're going to roll it out. Of course with grandma's rolling pin. So get it into a tree, into a triangle shape, and then start flattening it out, flattening it out, and then we're going to roll it out. and. Uh, make our tree and get started on our tree. And I have some special surprises on what's going to go inside our tree. Like that. Yep. Yeah. Do you want to put some flour on that rolling pin? There we go. Yeah. Okay. Until I hold the board. I'm going to put a towel uh, 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 underneath my board here so we can get this rolled out. Director says closer. What? It's not very triangle anymore. Well, you'll get it back. <laughs> hold on. Let me get you a towel under here. Hold this board down. Lift up the board for a second. We can hold it. Okay. All right. And how is everyone today on this gorgeous day? How lucky are we to live here at the beach where it is beautiful and sunny? I don't know what's the temperature like. Almost 70, I think. It's beautiful. We are very blessed. So I know we've got weather coming into New, e New England today. I saw you're expecting a big storm. And it's snowing in Tulsa, which we talked to Birthday shout out, quick ahead, for Tim Rutherford, our buddy in Oklahoma. It was his birthday yesterday, and he is was sitting there watching it snow. <laughs> hey, Seal, how are you? Barbara says we need more flour. <laughs> Let's see. Is that good enough? No. It's not good, good enough yet because it's not in the shape of a tree. I so about that. We have, we have some shape. We need to make it into the shape of a tree. It needs to be a little bit thinner, so keep going. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> What's your favorite Christmas tree or Christmas recipe tradition? I posted that on Facebook a couple days ago about sending me a recipe because I love them. And we're going to make this the point on the, this side. What's your plan there? I don't know. <laughs> make it flatter. Oh, flatter. Flip it over again. Yeah. This one needs to be skinnier. We'll get there. <laughs> I thought this would be more entertaining than watching me make dough. <laughs> okay, you think that's going to be our shape? Too. We can just make it a tree. Well, I'm just going to stretch out the bottom a little bit. Let's see. Our tree, we'll just have to fold it into tree shape. Lisa, I hope you're not watching. We're butchering our dough here. Okay, so now we are going to brush our tree with butter, and he's going to brush away there. Be very generous with your butter. And then I had some apple butter left 
from another recipe on the show. So I thought that would be delicious inside here, don't you think? I know, I thought so. So I'm gonna put a little apple butter in here. And I'm veering off of the traditional Fletcher uh, 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 recipe here, but I just thought it would be good. What do you think? I don't like that stuff. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess let's put some on the bottom then on my part of the tree. <laughs> you don't like it. It's delicious. Who doesn't like apple bu uh, butter? The same child who doesn't like um, chocolate. So the Fletchers put uh, mini chocolate chips in these when they make them, but um, I'm not because you can see my child ever doesn't like chocolate and evidently he doesn't like apple but butter, but it's delicious. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in there and then we are going to sprinkle on, Trey, just put that down. The cinnamon sugar, so this is a cup of sugar, white sugar with cinnamon, so just sprinkle it all around. Leave a little bit of an edge because we're going to fold it up. Yeah, you can be generous because this is the filling part that everyone likes, the filling. Oh, I probably... <laughs> keep, keep going all around. Hey, Deborah, how are you? Oh my gosh, Barbara says peppermint ice cream pie topped with meringue with crushed peppermints on top. Well, Barbara, stay tuned because do I have a cocktail for you coming here after we get our tree made. Oh my gosh, hey Hen, how are you? We're making Christmas tree coffee cakes and Rex is generously sprinkling, sprinkling the cinnamon sugar on top of my apple butter that he loves. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I get a little more around the edge here. Here, I, I will assist you. Edge. I know. You're being, I'm going to be a little more on the edge here. Live it on the edge, the edge of the Christmas tree. Okay. Now when Lisa does this, when you watch her, she makes this look very easy. <laughs> so now on my part of the tree, I am going to put some pecans because I like nuts. And guess who doesn't like nuts? So you're right. So I'm just going to put a few pecans down here because I can't. Okay, so now... Due to our fabulous rolling, we are going to make a tree shape here, and we're going to fold this in one way, try to make a tip on our tree here, and then fold it in that way, and we'll try and make it tree shaped. Since we did not roll it very well tree shaped, and then we are going to come down to the bottom here, and then we're going to flip it up and try and pinch, ooh, whoops, pinch it shut a little bit. We're going to fold up the bottom. She does it a little bit like this. Lisa, I need you <laughs> to make yours look so professional. Of course, she's probably made thousands and thousands and thousands of these. And I have only made, this is, might be my second. I think we make one or two when we were at her house. I wasn't, I wasn't even there. I was what? Like, okay. So we, uh, I think you were there. I mean, I was there, but I wasn't. You weren't cooking. making it? I thought you were. You were observing? No. No? <laughs> shape. Da, 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 da. Now we are going to take our cookie sheet. How do you like our 100 here? We got set decor today. Okay, would you like to flip it on here or would you like to hold the tray? I'll hold the tray. <laughs> okay, I'm going to flip it onto the, to the, to the uh, baking sheet and I'm going to flip it over onto the sheet so our seam is down and then we are going to make our cuts. So I'm going to leave the bottom and I am going to make cuts here. We are going to cut here, not all the way through to the middle and cut all the way down here. Now she started on the lower side so she goes just to the base here so where we have our angle here at the bottom is going to be our base. And then, would you like to do the other side? No, you got it. Okay. <laughs> Christmas tree training. And then these freeze beautifully. So you can freeze it and pull it out on Christmas morning, which is what we did the first time we made these. And throw it in the oven, and you have your lovely tree all ready for Christmas morning to share with Santa. So now we are going to take our pieces here, and we are going to, you can do that side, and I'll do this side, and we are going to twist it. 
and make it do a twist so that it's sticking up. So the end of it is sticking up. So it's standing on its side. What do you think? Easy, huh? We're making it look easy, right? <laughs> okay. How's it going there? You did not cut it very well on this side. Oh, I didn't? No. I offered you the opportunity to do that. <laughs> Stand up all our pieces here and then get to the fun part. I'll wait. <laughs> hey Erin, how are you? We are making Christmas tree coffee cakes here today on our 100th episode. Can you believe it? What did you do during COVID? We did a hundred cooking shows live. Okay, I have my special guest here today. So now we're going to take our Red Hots, we're going to decorate, and I'm going to put one at the end of each of these little, our branches. And you want to get the, you want to get some green sugar or silver. I've got silver sanding sugar and I've got green. And we're going to decorate our tree. Isn't this cute? Again, another great recipe that you can make with your kids or your grandkids because it is really fun and really yummy. Want this. Wherever you want it, artiste, okay. have at it. This is your tree. Of course, we're gonna make two more, <laughs> at least. So, oh my gosh, yum, huh? So now she puts mini chocolate chips inside of hers, and if you like chocolate, go for it. If you like, whatever you like. I, I like raisins too, nuts and raisins. The more chewy things in a cookie or a dessert, the better for me but not for my favorite ch uh, child here. So I would leave them out. And he doesn't like chocolate. So I put a little bit of apple butter and a little bit of pecans on the bottom half of this tree for me, because that's what I like. Oh my gosh, yum. And I don't think we're gonna bake this till Christmas. Maybe we, we will. I'm gonna put a few more on here. Okay, check that out. Cute, huh? I will hold this up so you can see our beautiful creation. And look, how long did that take? Not very long. And we have a beautiful pastry. So check this out. Gang, let's try and have it not fall off the cookie sheet. Huh? Cool. You guys are impressed, right? Yeah. I have a studio audience today, so that is totally cute. So we'll be making a couple more here once we go off camera. Um, so next we're going to make our cocktail. Would you like to help me? Right here. I'll just move this out of the way. Behind the hundred. I probably shouldn't hide my coffee cake. Okay. Well, I should probably make a cocktail. So thank, th uh, th uh, thank you for your wonderful assistance. Favorite child. Should probably not be teaching him how to make cocktails at his tender age, right? <laughs> okay. So here we go. Moving on. You know, I've made so many yummy cocktails on, on this show and bought so many alcohols I've never bought, but they've all been so yummy and so much fun. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to rim our glass. On my rimmed glass today, we have a little bit of sugar and some crushed candy canes. that give you a hint where we're headed with our cocktail? First, my pretty cocktail glass, and we are going to rim our glass with a little bit of lime because that's what I had, and that's what my audience said I should use. <laughs> and then we're gonna rim it here with our peppermint sugar. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so pretty. Pretty and yummy. My sister was saying she just had a key lime martini the other night at Tommy Bahamas in Houston, and they rimmed the glass with um, graham crackers. And then she said it was delicious, the key lime and the graham cracker rim. Look how pretty that is. We have our candy canes on our rim. Yum! Okay, so to our cocktail, I found when I was out shopping for our specialty cocktails, peppermint rum chata. Yes, how awesome is that? And of course, we had to break into this on Saturday Night Cards and taste it. <laughs> so and we have determined it is delicious, especially if you like peppermint. Oh my gosh. 
So here we go. Hey, Deb, thank you for coming on. Yes, 100. You came just in time for the cocktail. So I'm going to put some peppermint rum chata here in our um, shaker. And since I have an audience, I might put two in mm -hmm. case they want to try it. Yes. And then I have some vanilla stoli going in here. And we will put a couple shots of that in here. Oh my gosh. Because why not? Ho, 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 right? Oh, by the way, the eggnog, homemade uh, eggnog that we made the other day on the show, OMG, might be one of the best things I've ever made. So seriously, if you've never made homemade eggnog, make it, because it was outstanding. People around here might have been putting some Kahlua in that. <laughs> we were considering the peppermint rum chata in that. Um, we might have tried a little of the vanilla stoli in that. So... Uh, homemade uh, uh, and uh, very versatile, <laughs> but it was really delicious. Oh my goodness! Wow. Okay, so we're gonna give this a shake. Hey Heidi, how are you? That's Heidi or Mike. Heidi, I came by the shop the other day to deliver your prize, but you weren't there. But I will catch up to you here sooner or later. So we are making a peppermint rum chata martini with our candy cane crushed rim. Hey Chris, how are you? I know, well I just discovered rum chata on, on the show when they come in those little like coffee creamer packages and I figured those were for the homeschooling moms. <laughs> they, they, they decided to package that rum chata in the little creamers. You can grab one Jill up um, behind you. And here we go. We're gonna give this a little taste and see how our rum chata martini is. Oh, I just put in a little bit of milk, a, um, a little bit of milk at half and half, just to um, break down our alcohol a little bit. So cheers, happy 100. Thank you guys for watching all of these episodes. It has been so much fun. Why don't you taste this? OMG, that is very good. These yummy holiday cocktails we, we have made, but this one, so pretty and delicious. And then I have a special guest before we do our um, birthday shout outs, which we have today, and we do our drawing. I have a cute gi uh, giveaway today for our 100th episode, and as we head into the holidays, um, I have my dear friend who has Jill, who's going to come on here, Jill Allen, who is one of my buddies, and she's actually a real uh, actress, for real. Um, that she is a client and a dear friend, and she started a, as a client because I met her at an open house. But since I can't meet anyone at open houses right now, since we're not allowed to have them, I have to meet you here. So Jill has watched almost, almost every single live, all 100, she has watched them live. So in honor of her being my number one fan and such a great friend, I have a hundred dollar um, gift card for her. Grab the green bag Whoa. here. If I can reach it, sorry, on the wrong side. I have a hundred dollar gift card for her to Lure, which is a local restaurant here in Ventura because we want to support our local restaurants. And please do, please go buy lots of gift cards for holiday gifts because um, our restaurants need you. But this one is going for our 100th episode to our number one live viewer. Oh, wow. That's so it's surprise. very exciting. Isn't that nice? I wanted to surprise you. Oh, that's so great. Yes. So, and our favorite restaurant here in Ventura. Oh, it is? Oh, good. I don't I want to know that. I know, but yes. We it's do delicious. Love to go there. Yes. Oh, good. Well, I think you're going to have to take us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> then we'll need another hundred. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> I'll leave that. I'll, I will not say that on the camera. So anyway, this is my dear friend. So thank you so oh, much. Thank you so you. much. No, this is great. It's, it's certainly in the beginning of um, the quarantine, it was so wonderful to have something to do every day that was, you know, upbeat and positive and, and learning and educational. And uh, so and it, was, it was a wonderful opportunity that you gave us all. So yeah. Oh, yeah. thank you. It's been so fun. I have learned so much. We are going to be taking a little holiday break, and we will come back in the new year. We will see in what fashion. Um, but we did our 100 episodes, so I think that's kind of amazing with all the other things we did during this time. Um, but it is there. So I'm going to break out my awesome um, birthday hat that my sister just got me, my birthday shout-out hat here. And we will um, 
put on my birthday shadow hat for our birthday shadows because we have a bunch of them. Director says get down. Get down so you guys can see. <laughs> I have a delay on my, on my live stream. So there's our birthday hat. You see it's all lit, lit up. Um, and our birthday shout outs today, I have to make a list because we had a bunch. Um, we have um, Lauren Cochran, who is our photographer who shoots all our properties. Um, Mark's wife, it's her birthday. Happy birthday. And Audrey Shepper, happy birthday to you. Haven't seen you in forever, but happy birthday. And then we have this week, we have John Nagley, who is a great divorce att attorney here in town. Um, and then Bill Fitzhugh, my friend from kindergarten and up. Um, it's his birthday this week. And then, of course, I have my dear, dear friend, my neighbor, um, Lynn Teehee. It's her birthday on Christmas Eve. And then my dear, dear friend, Destiny, it's her birthday on New Year's Eve. And so happy birthday to her. Um, and those are our birthday shout-outs for today. Um, remember, today is also National Chocolate Covered Anything Day. So let your imagination go wild. And it is also National Maple Syrup Day tomorrow. So I'm giving you a a heads up, time to make those pancakes for the kiddos tomorrow. Um, so our giveaway today, I'm gonna take the hat off just because it's hot, it's felt and it's very warm. Um, and the lights make it very warm, warm too. So our, our um, gift today, I have one of my favorite, favorite things, and that, that too, um, these holiday peppermint cookies from Trader Joe's. I mean, seriously, I can't open the box or it's just not funny. You put them in the freezer, they're the best. Oh, that girl's got cookies. Oh, yeah. they're the best. So this, I had to buy them, but I have to give them away. <laughs> so today, I have a box of those. And with that is this cute metal mug. As we go into this crazy year and crazy holiday, it says, enjoy the little things. Yeah. And I think oh, one thing we have it. all learned through this crazy time is really to enjoy the little things. And I'll bet a lot of the things that we're all missing right now are the little things that we took for granted. Yeah. So in this holiday time, uh, take the time to enjoy. Uh, pick up the phone and call someone that you know is alone. I know that the loneliness is getting to be, you know, just dramatically difficult. And please support our local businesses and um, restaurants because we want them to be here in 2021. Uh, so we will draw that. I have two of those. Hey Tracy, how are you? Welcome. You want to draw since you're standing here? Let's see who's there. Drum roll, please. Susan Whalen! Susan Whalen! Winner, winner! My lucky she girl. She paid me to do that. <laughs> <laughs> and. Oh, and Lynn Teehee! It is her birthday! Her birthday, her birthday on Christmas Eve! So, Lynn and Teehee, you are the winner. And Lynn is a, is a um, connoisseur tea drinker. So, this is a perfect, perfect. gift um, for her. So, that's. Awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching. It has been an adventure in live TV for us. Um, remember what we do. We do real estate. You can visit us at GaryAndLisa.com. You can catch all the episodes on our YouTube channel, Ventura Real Estate. Um, the recipes and everything are there. They're here on our Facebook page, my Instagram. Um, so we will be back to you in the new year. It will be 2021 and we will still be doing real estate. So if that's what you want to talk about, this week, next week, that's what we love to talk about. So thank you so much, and we will see you in the new year. Happy New Year! Yay!